are there are necessary steps before you do any tuning on your vehicle it doesn't matter is it genesis mm -hmm. uh, like a toyota bmw mercedes or whatever first of all is a maintenance that people ignore or forget about it or just simply don't know about it that you should keep your maintenance on time is it uh, a fluid change like a uh, engine oil, transmission oil, spark plugs, ignition coils, air filter, etc. So you need to keep your maintenance on time and before you go to the tuner, whoever it is, it doesn't matter, is it me or someone else, you need to do the maintenance first, make sure that everything is in good order, not just uh, checking plugs. For example, when you know that you did, the, for example, 20,000 on the plugs and they all, oh, they look good, it doesn't matter, you need to replace them and the gap to specs whatever tuner will request you to do and uh, make a car ready for like that then secondary before i start working on any vehicle i make sure that there is no error on the vehicle so sometimes it happens that uh, people bring a car which acts funny they have a check light etc and uh, the customer is just told that oh you need a tune mm -hmm. sometimes it's not the case and in most cases it is not the case Sometimes a car has some problem with a cam timing or a sensor or uh, auto sensor is burnt, for example, or just bad. And uh, people get confused that, oh, I have just uh, auto sensor codes and uh, I can delete them from a tune. No, it's not right. You need to have the, oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. So you need to have a front oxygen sensors in a working condition and they should not have uh, any errors. If you're going for off-road user and you're going like a cutlass and you will be using a card for the track only then you can uh, code out the rear oxygen sensors but in order to make a car run perfectly fine when it is uh, uh, especially on a stock ECU uh, you need to have the front oxygen sensors in a good working order no errors should be there and car should not be acting funny especially when the car is factory Mm -hmm. If it was like a project car with a cams and uh, like a big astral and uh, intake and the supercharger and stuff, yeah, obviously it is understandable why car may act funny. Mm -hmm. But when you have like a stock, not modified vehicle and it acts up funny and somebody tells you that, hey, you need the tune, it's a wrong statement. You need to fix your car first at the shop who is specializing. That's a fact. Yeah. And then go for the tuning afterwards, not vice versa. Tune is not fixing the solution for your problem you know yeah you need to understand you need to be on top of your maintenance and understand the overall health of your platform that you've got before you even exactly. start tuning right exactly and you in this case uh what i'm gonna do is before we start any tuning i pull the stock flash mm -hmm. and now i will check all this uh, all the mm, control units whatever car has to make sure that is there any error or not and if there is any what sort of error is it and if everything is all right and there is no issue with the car we can proceed with the tuning mm -hmm. but if i see that there is any error hanging that may affect my work i will tell you that hey look we need to fix this first and then we keep with the tuning because you should not be tuning a vehicle which has any sort of problem especially with a fuel injection or ignition timing or oxygen sensors or mass airflow sensor or air temperature sensor because the way people sometimes think is that oh i tune the car and then later i will fix the problem no you need to have a car in a good order mm -hmm. and then tune it and also i would mention here that sometimes i hear it that hey i have a car tuned like a five years ago and now tune is messed up tune doesn't mess up on its own and tune doesn't change at all uh what affects the final outcome is a reading from the sensors will it be coolant temperature sensor intake air temperature sensor map sensor mass airflow sensor cam sensors etc if any of the sensors will go out it will affect your final outcome you know and car will not perform as good as it was before and it doesn't mean that you should call your tuner hey tune is messed up and no it is not the way it works you need to figure out what is wrong with the car and uh, do again the maintenance and fix the problem you cannot fix a problem that uh, uh, has a car mechanically from the tune. Mm -hmm. So that's a one very important thing to know. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to ask you as well, like, have you had to turn anybody away if they brought yes. you, if you've had to, you know, because you're a busy guy, right? You, you know, this, this guy is going from state to state all over to his customers. So constantly on the clock. 
So have you yes. had to turn people away? Yes, I have had the case where I traveled 1300 miles mm -hmm. from uh, Texas to Florida and uh, I figured that car is not ready because it has some mechanical issue with mm -hmm. the fuel pump. It has uh, some mechanical issue with the turbocharger and I simply could not turn it because it would be just a waste of time, waste of customers' money. And uh, I told him, gave them, him exact pointers what he need to be uh, looking for and what he should be done uh, before doing a tune. And there are sometimes the cases where customer cannot diagnose and cannot figure out without tuner and that's understandable but yeah in such cases you should just cover whatever expenses the tuner has because he is coming to you or at, even if he's not coming he's spending time on your vehicle mm -hmm. and uh, helping you diagnosing and then helping you to prepare for the tuning even if he's not physically doing it he's giving you valuable information exactly yeah and uh, nowadays the information is what gives you power yep yeah. And a lot of people don't have that information, as oh, we yeah. were talking about earlier, right? Lack of knowledge. Yeah, exactly. So you guys heard it here first. Make sure you guys, before you guys spend the, the, the money to get your car tuned, you guys are doing the proper maintenance. You guys have a full health check. You're doing a full inspection on your car. Um, and, yeah, you're making sure, you know, if you do need to do things like compression tests to make sure you can, you know, track the comparative analysis of how it was and how it will be as well, do that. But take all the measures because you don't want to waste, you know, your time or your tuner's time, you know, booking a session with them. And, you know, you get there and your car is, is missing key components or is just really not in, in a good, healthy state to be tuned. Uh, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoy that quick segment there. Anything else you want to say? Anything um, else you want? Not right now, but I will we'll be Maybe. showing much more uh -huh. step by step. Yeah. Sounds good. Sound good. So we'll see you guys in the next segment, man. I hope you guys are enjoying these quick Q&As. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.